An INFJ personality enjoys the type of work that is being done. I recently read a sentence that caught my interest. INFJs prefer to focus in great depth on one item at a time, which can cause times of single-mindedness, according to Paul Tiger and Barbara Barron in their book Do What You Are. It made me pause and consider the kinds of tasks that, as an INFJ personality, I truly enjoy. And when I say job I love, I don't mean the tasks I must complete in order to make ends meet. I'm referring to the activities that inspire me, such as reading, synthesizing information, and writing. As the quotation implies, I enjoy work that enables me to give my full attention to a single task at a time, which is typically project-based in nature. In case you are an INFJ, I'm assuming that if you have an INTJ personality type or a comparable personality type, you also appreciate deep dive tasks for the focus they provide you. What sort of project-based job really ignites an INFJ? INFJs need five things, which I've discovered from my work as a career coach with this personality type. They'll feel satisfied with their employment since their natural skills are being utilized when their profession allows them to perform these things regularly, or when they have hobbies or side projects that accomplish the same. The sort of work that inspires an INFJ. 1. Research that helps people discover new things. Our personality is controlled by a mentality or cognitive function called introverted intuition. The goal of the information-seeking attitude known as NI is to comprehend the universe's secrets. INFJs are always conducting in-depth research, especially on topics that fascinate them, as a result of their desire to understand why and to delve thoroughly into everything. The same is true for INTJs, whose major cognitive function is introverted intuition. Because of this, learner is one of my top five strengths finder traits as an INFJ. Every INFJ understands that research is the foundation of a good project because you cannot produce unless you have gathered sufficient thoughts and knowledge to do the work properly. INFJs enjoy delving in and learning new things, especially when it pertains to the arts and humanities. A great project is research-driven and thoughtful. Two. Developing creativity. Creative endeavors necessitate original, unconventional thinking. A creative idea needs to be original and compelling in order to succeed. Another strength of INFJs is coming up with original, previously unthought of ideas. This is as a result of Nye's exceptional networking skills. Making connections that no one else has made before at least not in this specific way, is what creativity ultimately comes down to. It takes creativity to connect seemingly unconnected topics. When working on a project, INFJs use their night to smoothly move from conducting research to putting ideas together. 3. Activating a deep state of flow through projects. In order to achieve a state of flow where their thoughts are operating on all cylinders, most people need the ideal combination of challenge and interest that causes them to become so engrossed in the activity that they lose track of time. Projects help INFJs in this way. We have the ability to problem solve, develop, synthesize, and envisage when working on projects in a serene environment with lots of time and space to think. Even though we enjoy people, we are introverts, so we require the silence. Just the proper amount of stimulus puts us in a state of flow where we are totally absorbed in what we are doing and loving it, as opposed to too much stimulation, which exhausts us and puts us into shutdown mode. Once more, the key is to give one object your full attention at a time. 4. Initiatives that promote liberty and autonomy. You have the option of working alone or with others when working on a project. You can work on it whenever, wherever, and however you want if it's your own creative venture, and not one that your manager has given you. The perfect trifecta is this one. Before recently, I was unaware of how crucial these three elements were to me and many INFJs. As the writers of Do What You Are put it, I want the freedom to choose the process and the output when I work. 
I like total creative freedom and the ability to produce something that meets my INFJ standards. It's a very fulfilling experience for me to work in silence, by myself, and produce something I'm pleased of since external constraints and too many other aspects of life drive me to do so. As a result, I often have to produce goods in crowded, noisy settings with lots of people. What about you? Can you say the same? 5. Efforts that make one feel accomplished. A sense of accomplishment is enjoyable for everyone except INFJs. It's vital, especially for people with judging personalities like and others. Although we INFJs tend to be open-minded learners, we can't ignore the J at the end of our four-letter personality. In the end, we are judges who like to get things done and we won't be satisfied sitting on innovative ideas for an extended period of time. Projects have an end, unlike endlessly repeating duties and chores. And when they do, we can witness and take pleasure in the outcome. Additionally, we get to mark the project as complete.